think I want to try some air layering today. So stick around if you want to see me do some air laying. We're going to air layer a fig, a blueberry, a persimmon, a pear, and some apple. Air layer. So in order to air layer, air layering is a process of where you propagate new trees from existing trees using young growth on the trees. And um, many of you have seen air layering probably before, but we're going to use something that all of us have around the house to, uh, to create an air layer bottle so that we can, we can contain the roots for the, the plants that we're getting ready to air layer. So uh, stick around and I'm gonna show you how we turn this into an air layering device. So I've just, I've got a pair of basic kitchen scissors and I'm just gonna cut down. And this is our air layer bottle. You can see we've got a hole here, we've got this hole and uh, it's split down the middle. So let's fill this up and uh, do some air layering. Now that we've got our bottles done, um, we need something to put into the bottles. So what we're gonna use for this is peat moss. And I've got about a half a bucket of peat moss here and you can see it's really, dr really dry. We wanna make sure we get this really moist before we begin using it. So let's go moisten There's our bucket peat moss. of rainwater right here and we're just gonna pour the rainwater in and mix it with the peat moss. So I've got my peat moss. I'm gonna pour about an equal amount of water into it. Just uh, mix it in. So I've picked out my limb that we're gonna air layer. And right here around this node, I'm gonna go ahead and cut about a one inch section of bark away from this, making sure we get down past this upper layer of bark to where we get some nice clean bark. Come in here, Chloe. So I'm just peeling the bark away. Roughing it up a little bit. I'm gonna wring it. I'm gonna wring it down here. I peel that outer layer of bark away. So we've got a nice clean stem. Next thing we're gonna do is take some rooting hormone. We're just gonna apply rooting hormone to this area, just paint it on. So we've got some rooting hormone on the naked part. Okay. Now we're gonna fill our, our cup or our container with the dirt. And it's really wet. Dirt's gonna be really wet. We we'll take our container, place it around our limb that we want to air layer, making sure we get a a wrap of soil all the way around where we're. You can see that's really wet. And uh, we're air layering that branch now. Next thing I'm gonna do is get myself some plastic wrap to keep this sealed. I'm just gonna come by and wrap our air layer with some plastic wrap.
trying to seal that off so that we don't lose moisture. We've got this old persimmon tree that's not doing very much fruiting, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna air layer some of these. We're gonna air layer some of these younger branches and see if we can't get um, get a persimmon tree to grow from one of these air layers. They're nice, but we had to tie this one up. This little branch is so little that uh, we had to tie it up to the tree to support it some and hopefully this one will work we'll find out that's our persimmon air layer so i've got another persimmon branch here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the growth tip off the top so it's got fewer leaves i'm going to strip off the leaves and uh, come back here to one of these nodes like this i've got two nodes right there so i'm going to clip it here really well Take my trusty pocket knife, give it a good cut. So we got a nice clean cut. I'm trying to hurry. I don't need to hurry, do I? Take and dip this in the rooting hormone. So we got a nice coat of rooting hormone. Now I'm gonna take this and just put it in a pot of soil. And this is that pro mix that is so nice. And let's take this and put it in some water now. So this is our um, persimmon. I'm just letting it float around in here so that the soil can soak up some water. And uh, it's just gonna ride around in this water until it gets full. And uh, when it gets full, it should, whoops. It should stand upright then and uh, that's our persimmon cutting instead of an air layer we used a cutting for this one just because I didn't like the air layer that we did on the persimmon. We're gonna try this little pear leaf or this pear tree. I like how this branch is sitting up on the limb so my air layer bottle can sit down on the limb and we'll just get down here next to a node and uh, go around the uh, bark here just trimming it back Try not to take too much from this young limb, but uh, making sure that we do ring the bark. A good sharp knife is a great thing to have. There we go. We got a good ring around that. that go ahead and get some get my rooting hormone on like so really coat that good so we've got rooting hormone now let's get her bottom so, uh, Holton's doing his first air layer and now uh, have you ever done this before uh -uh. No. You? so what are you doing now what's the process you know peeling back uh, the bark uh-huh so that you can get to the good, you know, green stuff. Mm -hmm. So it'll be more effective. We cover that, this area in root hormone. And yeah. then we take some peat moss and dirt mixed together, water. That know. looks good. You want this uh, rooting hormone? Yeah. What kind of tree is this? It's an apple tree. I don't know anything beyond that. Were you reading about this somewhere? Yeah, David Good something. David the Good? Yeah. Do you know who that is? Nope. You don't know who David the Good is, but you're reading his book? Yeah. Is it a good book? Definitely has a lot of information. Yeah. What did you read about? Airline. Layering. What else did he have in that book? I don't know. He talked about ground layering and mound layering yeah you want to try to ground layer maybe our ba our blueberries Let's try okay i don't want to touch the dirt so uh, what have we done today we uh we ground layered or mound layered the grape
we uh, ground layered the blueberry. Uh, we got three blueberries, one grape. There are two apples. There are two pears and a persimmon. And then we took a persimmon cutting. Not sure if we picked a good day to do this, but uh, you know, it was something that my son and I could do together and we could try to, uh, to learn something new. He actually did an air layer of his own on the, uh, on the <clears throat> apple tree. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take a little break and uh, see what else we can get into. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. It's been a pleasure to uh, share our air layering and uh, layering techniques with you to produce some more fruit for our, for our homestead here. These will eventually go back into the food forest area. Um, and, yeah, we're excited to see how this works out. Thanks for stopping in. Know that I love you, and God bless.